And now it's time for Lake Minnetonka's favorite champion of safety, protector of humankind, and master of avoiding danger, the LMCC's safety expert. Oh, hi there. World-renowned LMCC safety expert Chris Vogt here. Today I'm in Victoria, Minnesota on a cold, blustery day at the Public Works Department. Now again, as a world-renowned safety expert, it's my job to make sure that you, John Q. Public, is safe during the cold winter months. Today we're going to go over some important snowplow safety tips. Now again, as I said before, I am a world-renowned safety expert. I would never go to the end of this driveway as a snowplow is coming through. Did I just say snowplow? Is that the LMCC safety expert? What's he doing out here? Well, I guess I'm not that much of a safety expert after all. Brain freeze. You know what, maybe I should leave it to the experts uh, here at the Public Works Department in Victoria. I'll see you in a little bit. Ow. A lot of the common problems that we see out plowing snow, depending on obviously time of year, whether it be around Christmas time, holidays and so forth, is a lot of traffic. Traffic, whether it be uh, citizens parking on the road and uh, impinging the way that we can get around, it takes a lot more time for us to get around parked vehicles on the road versus if the road was perfectly clear. We have, obviously you can see behind me, a large trucks that isn't very easy to maneuver and move around, especially when it comes to slippery conditions that if, it, if people could take the time or a second to pull off into a neighbor's driveway or off the road that we can get by, we want you to get to where you need to go. Well, is obviously a watch for us. If you know it's snowing, pay attention, you know, listen. It, it's a very distinct sound when you know a plow is coming, whether it be the loud diesel motors or just the plow scraping on the ground. You know, know where we're at. If you're out shoveling your driveway and it's a family event, know where your kids are at. Animals, dogs, cats, anything that might else be outside. We don't want to do any damage or do anything, you know, unsafe to start with, but it's also kind of a citizen's responsibility to kind of help us out because we're, we've got a lot of miles to cover in a short amount of time and we want to try to do it the best possible way. We do drive rather, rather large trucks. I mean, with the wings and the plows on the front, we can exceed up to 16 to 18 feet wide. And most residential streets are 20 to 24 feet wide, so we're taking up three quarters or at least two thirds of the street up. And, you know, after about three, four snowfalls, the curb lines are 22 feet, it starts getting 18, 16, it gets narrower and narrower. Um, a lot of the things that we see, especially with residential neighborhoods, is when we start to take intersections, go around corners, is that cars will come right up to the stop sign and won't let us get around to where, you know, we try to make that happy medium, we wait, let them come out, then we got to kind of start back over to where, you know, like I mentioned earlier, if they could just pull off, let us keep going, and let us you know, get out of the way, we're gonna make the road a lot safer and a lot smoother for them to travel. Uh, snowplow safety is that, you know, we're out there doing our best. We're gonna to continue to do our best. You know, if you've got issues or anything else, make sure to let us know. Try not to stop the driver on his route. Try not to talk to those people personally. If you got, you know, questions, there's a, there's a number usually called City Hall. Let us know about those things. Um, but most of all is that we're, uh, we're out there and you, if you can help us out, we, uh, we definitely make it a lot easier for everybody. Well, I hope you all learned some valuable snowplow safety tips today. I know I sure did. Ow. I think I have frostbite in my ear canal. Oh, bye.